Hello, my name is Karak72, and welcome back to our divine journey to playthrough. I am just crafting up a couple upgrades for our helmets and basically just making a couple recipes here and there. I did replace some of these augments with the, the one that increases the amount because the platinum is a little bit annoying but we'll hopefully hopefully that'll fix it a little bit it's still quite quite slow i may need to go throw it on like another void miner or something in the end for iridium i don't know we shall see but yeah i figured i would throw a couple of the upgrades on our helmet might as well because i just had it oh god i need to empower these uh i just had it it was just taking like damage i'm like i need to actually uh do something about that all right so that night vision is four i think night vision would be good to have it's also four Should be able to throw that in there and throw that in there now i don't know if that okay that actually does generate power i wasn't sure if we needed to do one of these but the simple one actually does work i do have oops, recipes for that one thought i did a recipe for thought I did a recipe for that one, but apparently not. I have everything for it. Once you get the original one, it seems to be they're not. These aren't too bad. Maybe I will. Yeah, let's just do, we'll do the base one for now. I do have a couple more upgrades, but I don't know if we're going to use them. I mean, all this stuff we we already have. Also, the other um, the other solars. I can't remember how far how far did we get up to? We got up to six, five. I have recipes. All the way up. I don't know if I can actually craft them though. Alright, there is. I mean, to be honest, we can almost do this. And we also have the Ender Cores now. Uh, right? Ender Core. Ooh, that's advanced. I don't know about that one. Enhanced? Advanced? Oh, yeah. Uh, we need to craft up another end crystal because <laughs> I accidentally blew it up that day. Uh, that was pretty funny. Uh, it's not, it's not bad anymore. Now that we have our gas farm, it's not a problem. It was annoying before with the gas blocks and the nether star, but now we're, I mean, that's really nothing. All right. Uh, was it, which one was it? Where did it go? Didn't we? Is that not the one I did before? Oh, that's seven. There. Yeah, the mineral trunks and ender core enhanced. Must be this one. Yeah, I think we could do that, can't we? I just don't have recipes for it. But uh, I do need to place this down. And hopefully we won't blow it up accidentally this time. There we go. Okay, but uh, let's see, we do have. I'm kind of curious how fast the the solars. Like, if I don't even need to do the more expensive solars at this point, maybe I won't do it. I don't know. Oh, I didn't. 
it didn't uh, activate it. Okay, uh, it, other than that, I am going to continue with the automation of all this craziness with the, the promises and the blood magic stuff. I'm actually having a lot of fun with it, but uh, it's kind of like a lot of the same thing. So I'm not getting like, not like I can record a whole bunch of this stuff because I've already done it before. Uh, but I guess let's do that. Oh, I already have that one. I don't have, what I don't have is the, that part of it. All right, there we go. I had the other part. Uh, what I was saying is the solar, like we could just have this ticking. I mean, that's 32,000 per tick. I mean, that's actually pretty good, to be honest. And then after that is the wyvern cores, which we haven't gotten into. We do have draconium and we have at automated nether stars, though. We just, we're getting close to the, the altar. We are actually getting pretty close to it. Uh, draconic cores? Not so much, but uh, the altar, the actual altar, we actually getting pretty close. Maybe I will just craft up one of those. Did I put that in there? I did. Yeah. We might as well just have it taken away. I mean, why not? Ooh, those mineral chunks. The... Have I... I don't think I set up the squeezer. I have a squeezer... Somewhere, I think it was over here. I, yeah, I was using it for lava. I could just craft up a second one. I don't use the integrated dynamics a lot, but I mean, it, it makes sense that we would actually... I mean, I can just... All this stuff is like auto-crafting now. All right, uh, just set up the mechanical squeezer, mechanical drying basin, pretty simple. Uh, I did do just the, even though we actually get the crystal things from it as well, uh, I just basically pulled a, we get one, this mineral resin turns into one of these blocks. So I just basically told it to do that, and then we will get extra of the chunks and it'll use that next time we need to use it but uh, also i think this can only pull out from the bottom maybe i can pull it to pull from another thing but it it didn't want to didn't seem like i could pull out from the sides or the top so eh, kind of had to be a little bit funny with that but yeah so there we go there is that we are crafting up a solar panel the tier 8 one and as we can see i am pushing the automation pretty hard here i mean nothing super crazy none of the blood magic stuff or anything it's just kind of all our pretty normal crafting at this point but it's cool to see it all just kind of happen i do need to split these empowerers off that is something i need to work on but i am going to i'm going to throw that there see if i can remember it and i got recipes for all those we are good uh i'm going to continue automating the this stuff this is just a lot of shift clicking into uh jei okay that actually went uh pretty quick one thing i've noticed is niter is a little bit of a problem uh, I may do something to fix that. Uh, sandstone, you can pulverize sandstone and get it that way, but I'm not, not going to worry about it all right this second, but there we go. They're both producing 32,000. See if that's... Yeah, 
should be getting like 60, yeah, 65,000. We're only outputting that much. So, yeah, there we go. I should have done that a while ago. Didn't think about that. But, uh, yeah, that'll just slowly, slowly fill up. And then if we need, you know, a boost, we can always just flip that and get 25 million R of protect. But really not that, uh. We're not using anywhere near that much power at the moment. Okay, I am just continuing along. And as expected, uh, stuff got more complicated than I was hoping. And let's just sort this out now. Didn't mean to do this. So, Niter. It'll probably be a one to one with the things in it. I don't know. It's not. Don't worry about that. So, realize does that have. I could do that. It's only a 50% chance though, it's 40% plus the thing, so. All right, let's see if that, do like 10, see if we. I'm hoping with the things in there. All right, we got exactly 10. I feel like, I could always do like two sandstone if I really wanted to. Maybe I should do that. Times two, we'll do that. That way we will just get extra and then uh, next time we need it, we'll already have some in the A system. That just, so recipes doesn't get clogged up. All right, uh, so yeah, what I was gonna say is I have, as I was getting this stuff crafted up, uh, I realize that we're going to need some, yes, a tier three uh, blood magic altar. We also need it for this Tempest reagent because this actually requires 300. So I'm going to have to craft up the next Tartar gem, get everything automated. Now, I did just... Craft up a whole bunch of potions of swiftness. I bid. Uh, I just filled a whole thing, like 20 buckets worth of water, and then converted it all. And we got 16 buckets of swiftness potion or something, I think it was. And then we end up getting 48 bottles. I am going to fully automate all these. Uh, I'm just kind of. I'm trying to get these two as soon as possible uh, so that is kind of what i am working on so this next the common here let's do tartaric it's the third one so it's that uh requires three of these cores we just did the holy didn't we isn't that we yeah we automated that last episode but uh, i do need magical core and environmental core i haven't even looked at those i don't want to look at them they're scary. <laughs> um, and we also need a new orb for this Tempest core, which we need for the Tempest agents or one of these. Tempest S. We need the tier three. So that is what I started working on. And then I got totally distracted, uh, as you do in Minecraft. Uh, I was like, I want more hearts. Because I want to craft up the incense altar so we can get more. Uh, we get more uh, life essence when I do my dagger. And you can see I started doing the tier three. Um, I'm going to move it after I probably the tier three. Uh, I just kind of wanted to get this down. I'd uh, probably maybe back here or something like that. We'll set up the actual thing because I, th I don't know how many I don't know if we need a tier six but tier five is gonna be like way out here the uh, 
the edges of it so yeah so that is kind of what i'm doing now i have set up a another thing over here and i'm waiting to see if this actually works and it looks like it's screwed up because <laughs> i'm so bad at these Uh, these, um, whatchamacallit? Wait, I want to do that. I think, maybe. Yeah, I'm so bad at these lasers. It did work before, but I didn't do multiple at once, so that's maybe why it got screwed up. Maybe. See when it does it again. I need more computer things on there too. That is something I only have. I only have like the one. So what I think is going to happen is it's going to output this in. Oh, maybe I should do blocky mode. That's probably what I needed. Uh. I ended up moving this. It was over here. I had blocky mode on. I moved it to over here, so it was a bit closer. Forgot to do blocky mode. That might have been what happened, actually. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, I need more uh, things on that, for sure. Actually, let me craft that up really quick. We'll see if it goes much quicker, because I feel like it can craft stuff up, and it's just not doing it. Okay, we are back, and uh, yeah, it's going a bit quicker. Uh, I I know I need to keep these in stock, and I need to keep like fiber and alloys in stock, and I just, I just haven't got around to it. Um, but I realized I think I had this set wrong. Yep, there we go. When I was trying to fix it, I had it uh, set wrong. I think it's. inbound and is it i don't know i'm never going to be able to figure these out <laughs> but yeah there we go it is uh it goes quite a bit quicker as we can see um also you just need to do make sure you have priority on this one which you get from a thing so i have priority 15 and on all the other ones i don't know if that really matters but uh yeah so there we go we can see it is quite a bit quicker than the diamond team. I mean, it's not like... That's not like super slow, but yeah, the time it takes to fill the things. Um, but just having them on separate makes it much, much easier. So I will probably do this setup, like I said, three times, four times for all the things. And like I said, I probably should just keep having this stuff all in stock. I just haven't got around to setting up all the different uh, things to keep in stock. Because I don't want to just have it keep these in stock. I probably would split off like Vibrant Alloy so it's not messing up my uh, active crafting. Anyway, uh, we got that going. Uh, that will be our 10 hearts. We got one more. Uh, that we needed for that quest somewhere. I don't remember where it was, but we had one. There it is. Yeah, I wanted to get that done. I wanted more hearts, and I mean, I'm not going to complain about that either. Okay, so there we go. There is the 10 hearts. Awesome. So now that I've gotten that sorted out we can well we have the oh i don't have the i don't know if i have the orange hearts oh i can do those uh, we don't have like millions of those obviously but i could do a recipe for that while i'm here i don't think i have it yet nope also i keep adding more and more molecular assemblers because of all the recipes uh, while i'm what is the Pair of steel, life essence. Oh, we're getting life essence, so we could we could easily make a bucket for that. That's cool. Uh, but ah, 
Locked behind the runic altar and some craziness. <laughs> Uh, but we're working on this stuff. This is the kind of stuff we're all working on. So yeah, maybe uh, for now, we will be content with this. Okay, uh, incense altar in here somewhere. Yes, there we go. We have everything. I did craft up the runes of self sacrifice. They're actually really easy. I mean, blank rune, lumium, and two reinforced sites. I don't really have the slates fully automated yet. But, uh, I don't know how I'm going to actually automate those. That is one of the things I, like, I rarely ever fully automate those. Just because, like, I never know how to, like, do the, how do I tell it not to pull the, like, because the reinforced need the blank slates, but I can't, if I need to pull out the blank slates first, like, I don't know. It's always, like, I never know how to fully automate that. But that does let me do this, at least. So, there we go. Looks like we have almost a full thing. Um, we will probably... I, th I may go with self-sacrifice. I don't know what which one would probably be easier, but... Okay, I do need to get a bunch of slates, so... Five, ten, I need about 15 more, I think. Which is 30 of those, these. I think I could probably manage. I could probably fill it up faster than it's gonna drain. Yeah, so, okay, I'm going to continue doing this. We'll get our tier three. Uh oh, I totally lied. <laughs> That's not going to work. Nope, totally lied. I can't do it fast enough. Oh, there is a 20 second. I forgot about the, yep, just kidding. That is the one issue with that. Uh, before, I could just fill up my hearts and then I could keep doing it. But uh, yeah, that actually does have a... It does have a, uh, there's a cooldown on using the dagger. I'd forgotten about that. All right, so there is, like, kind of the issue. I need to pull these out before they uh, turn into reinforced slates. Okay, let me uh, continue doing this. don't remember what the thing is. There is quest for it, too, though. In case you don't know. Holy goodness gracious. <laughs> okay. Uh, this stuff isn't... Of course, this stuff is all a bit changed. That's kind of funny, actually. Yep. That stuff, of course, it's been changed. Alright, I guess I will... I'll just turn that on, and then it'll pull it out automatically, but... Definitely a bit... And then, in case you don't know, the incense altar, just once it starts glowing, when you do that, it use, it just does all your hearts all at once. And that's how much it beats. Uh, and then you get efficiency bonuses and stuff with the incense altar, depending on how much you upgrade it, and you get more life essence that way. So let me finish doing this. We will get our imbued. And then that will be able to get us our orb. I don't know what it's tier three. All right, so float frozen. I haven't done icy core undead log. Oh, that's there's a way to. Yeah, I read that in the book. All right, so yeah, definitely a little more complicated. All right, just. Crafting up those runes that we need, but in the meantime, I am working on dead sapling. So this is the dead bush in our blood infuser with the promise of tenacity one, which we do have. 
And this is just a shear with any sapling. So super easy to get. I'm assuming we just plant that. I don't know how many we're going to need. This is something we're going to have to farm. Not sure. I mean, at this point, that's not super complicated. I just don't know if there's like a specific use outside of this frozen blood core kind of thing. But let's give... Let's just I guess, grow one. It did give us five of these, so is kind of tells me that we might need more. All right, the pulverizer might actually be <laughs> used right now. Actually, uh, we could do this. Bad. Yeah, bad. I wonder if uh, being underneath glass is going to be an issue. I have noticed, though, sometimes the, the growth thing doesn't always work with saplings. I have noticed. All right. Let's try this again. Yeah, there we go. It might have been the... Uh, the glass that was doing it. All right, well, decent amount of logs there. We get more, and we do get more saplings from it, it looks like. Oh, that just gives you dead bushes. That eh, kind of makes sense. If you need to craft up more saplings, you get the dead bushes for it, but you do need to infuse them with the, the blood. But there we go, there is the undead logs. All right, so that is that part. Now I need to get icy cores. I'm assuming these are just going to do... All right, that's actually pretty easy. And we have crystallos already. All right, so this one's actually on the easier side. Yeah, those are... I could maybe do crafters and deal with those. That might be something to consider. The things with the orbs. We might want to do it that way. All right, uh, let me finish this, I guess. Actually, that's that one's pretty easy. I didn't see what... Eighty. So yeah, not not too bad. Uh, let's. Does that work? Not I see. What was it? Frost. All right. Uh, yeah, I am crafting up other stuff, so you might. Oh no, we're good. I think. I did also speed up all these as well. So they are full of augments and going as fast as we can. Uh, those those rune things take a heck of a lot of steel though. Cool. I mean that one was pretty easy. Where did I? There it is. That one was pretty easy compared to some of them. I don't know if I need to be putting the filter in, to be honest. I don't know if it would pull those out. But I've done it so far, so might as well just keep doing it. All right, so there's our frosting. What did we need? We needed four of those. It's going to be like, you don't have enough orbs. Yep, that's kind of annoying. 
Okay, I just crafted up four of these, so we will see if this actually actually manages to work. I also crafted up, because at this point it's not too difficult right now, uh, I crafted up a the other, this one. Uh, so we have that automated, we have that automated. This one, we don't have automated because it's this, but I have Hardened Blood and Dark Power gems. Uh, this one I just had to get ourselves. Um, I placed it in the world. And uh, yeah, so I have crafted up a second one of those. I'm just realizing I probably could have done that easier. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking I had to place that, but I was like, oh, we have a drying thing now. Maybe I could have used that. Anyway, what's done is done. We got our, uh, we got a second orb. So I have the one in the table and then we have the one for the recipes. It does look like it's actually just kind of working. I always genuinely get like surprised. I'm like, oh, wow, look at my automation actually worked. Huh. There we go. I think it crafted up all, all of them. So can we do this? No, because we need... Oh, we need another one of those. I didn't realize we need another one of those. Okay, we must have got that from a quest because I didn't craft that up. We got a decent amount of blood in there, though, because this is the tier three thing. I do need to look into automating that with the pedestal. And from what I gather, I think you need to have like a drop, a um, drop mob farm. Is that what I'm seeing correctly with that? Seems like you have to drop the mobs and then it collects the blood that drops from them. Okay, there is our flurus in blood core some undead planks which is cool all right the next thing we need is this now this one is a little bit more complicated because I put that stuff away this needs twenty five thousand. our thing only has ten thousand, and i also still don't have a i don't have a divination sigil yet i need to get that actually um, but that's its own kind of thing We have that. Do we have grains? We have grains. You know what? Maybe I should. I should probably do. Yeah. First, let's do this. It is kind of crazy that I don't have a divination sigil yet. But having the tooltips kind of makes it not as necessary. Like, I can look at it and see. There's 10 buckets in there kind of thing. I mean, it doesn't say we have a tier 3 altar, but I'm assuming we have a tier 3 altar. I think I crafted it up correctly. Uh, only one way to find out is to do this. All right. I didn't want that to pull out. This was where I'm like, uh, how do I... How do I automate this to get the correct one? I'm sure, like... Uh, integrated dynamics would probably be the best way to go about doing that. So there is an imbued one. We do have a tier 3 altar. There is the quest for it. And that gives us reinforced slates. Now, uh, now we have imbued slates. We can get capacity. And I do mean... All right, it wants runes of sacrifice. Runes of sacrifice is, yeah, from mobs. I'm not doing mobs at the moment. So I might not do that. Some blank runes would be kind of nice, so. Yeah, we need to increase the capacity. I can put 10 buckets in there, but we're going to have to increase it so we can store more. So... I'm going to, I guess let's do, there are two types of capacity. 
Yeah, there's runes of capacity, and then there's the one that's... Alright, so that one does you... Ugh, that's... That's expensive. Also, Demonic Slates is tier 4, so we can't do those anyway. Alright, well, we can do these. Ish. I don't know. Have I done the... I don't really use those tanks. Alright, I do have a recipe for it. I couldn't remember if I did. Alright, so... I guess we're going to have to do at least five. Yeah, maybe not five, but uh, we're going to need... How many do these... Okay, so 7,500. That's actually not too bad. It's just going to be slow go, but basically what I'm going to do is craft up two. Give the A system a... Blank rune, and then craft up another capacity, and that will let us. We'll just keep getting more, more and more room, so it'll make it easier to craft up the next ones. All right, so let me do that. We'll get this upgraded to. Oh, I put that in the wrong thing. It's supposed to go in. One of these. Uh, I definitely need more alloy smelters. I keep saying that. Just haven't. Haven't got around to it. Just yet another thing I haven't got around to. Alright, so there is... That. And do that. Alright, now we should have 12. Yep. So I will do this. We'll get this upgraded. And we will craft up our... Uh, tier 3 orb. Okay, gone ahead. Got five of the things, so we can see 20,000 20, millibuckets. We should be good. I do seem to be getting about 14,000 from the dagger. So, definitely with the 20 extra hearts, it makes things quite a bit easier I'm gonna let that go down just a little bit but now that we get the tier 3 orb we can craft up these these go actually this I don't think those need no those don't actually need the tier 3 you can use the tier 3 but they don't actually use it yeah so that was about 14,000 wasn't it 15,000 I haven't quite figured out the total amount uh but that will unlock these tier three essences i have no idea how many there seems to be quite a lot <laughs> uh where are they like am i not seeing them are they not called essence they might not be called essences oh of course not they're like It doesn't actually say essences on them. All right, but there we go. There is our tier three. Ding. There we go. We'll throw it in there. Now I can throw that in here. Um, and with that, we're going to have to upgrade our Tartar gem. So magical core. So we need that. We already have that one. But the other one environmental i haven't looked at this one yet either or the agent all right we have orbis all right maple is a bit annoying eucalyptus eucalyptus we actually have tons of there's like that's eucalyptus right there maple eh, i have had maple before i haven't really looked at how to get more all right, I guess I could have just waited to upgrade that. Oh, well, now we have two orbs in the A system if we need it. I could also always craft up more alchemy tables. Maybe have one per tier or something like that. So it's spread out a little bit with the crafting. Uh, but I haven't actually even looked at the... Haven't we done that one before? Or maybe I looked at it before. Um, what's the catalyst? 
we have concentrated. All right. Well, not the end of the world. These shards, though. Oh, okay, that's that's something. I don't have them fully automated. I'm going to have to do something about that. But uh, anyway, that is going to have to be next episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.